Hi everybody, this is Kevlek with a short video to show you my completed modification of the V666 transmitter and hi, hi Moose, uh, I'm going to answer a couple of questions for you um, Now, uh, as you can see here my modification for the aerial and the, uh, the connection to the PC board and you'll see here on, on the right hand side is your connection for the earth or braid and on the left hand side here is the connection for the centre conductor <clears throat> and I have a just a little bit of plastic slid over the centre conductor just to keep keep the separation there but you don't really have to do that um, now this particular coax is a bit thicker than the ones here you can see I've just um, that back there. I've just sat that there just to show you the, uh, the difference in the thickness of the coax. Um, this one here, uh, you can't get that on uh, Banggood. Uh, I had to go on the uh, on eBay to get uh, this particular one because you can't get the thicker coax from Banggood uh, in the uh, form of a RPSMA female. They only have the um, uh, the SMA female not the RP. Uh, so you'll have to look on eBay to find this particular thickness of coax. It's a bit easier to work with as far as soldering it goes to the board. Um, now here on the left hand side you'll see a coax um, uh, believe it or not it is coax. It, it's very very thin and it's sort of a little bit hard to work with but this is the one that you have Moose and it's got a little fitting on the end here which you don't use. Uh, now if you do go decide to go for the bigger coax and you go on eBay and find it all you've got to do is just type in RPSMA female and the coax can be RG316 or RG178 um, because it's very hard um, to solder these particular thin ones onto the circuit board now just getting back to this one here this is the one that you have moose um, it doesn't matter which one you purchase uh, of that RP uh, SMA female uh, you'll still have to cut the other end off it because you're not going to use it and you need to separate the uh, internal conductor from the, um, the shield so uh, this picture here shows you uh, one that I've another lead that I've got which is the same thickness of coax and you can see here there's the center conductor and on the other side here is the braid the shield which obviously connects to the circuit board uh, so as I say if you want the thicker one you'll have to go on eBay because Banggood don't have it and uh, I'll repeat it myself but uh, I just want to make sure I get it right um, it's the thicker coax and it's RPSMA female and this one here was about oh, 10 centimeters, I think it was and I've just cut it short the length of the cable doesn't really matter that much um, so I just kept it a little bit short, but you could leave it a bit longer if you wanted to, but whatever one you buy, make sure it's just got your SMA, uh, RPSMA connector on one end, and it doesn't matter what's on the other end, you're going to cut it off anyway, uh, because you need to, um, to split it to solder on the circuit board. I hope uh, that's clear enough for you. Now, I'll just remove this one here for a second, and um, uh, just for, for the sake of it, uh, Banggood call the um, connectors with uh, they call it a, an SMA connection and they call it with an inner needle and the one with the hole in it is called the with an inner hole that's the way that Banggood described the connector now um, as you can see here I've used the um, the old fitting that connects into the top here slides into the top now, uh, in the previous video, you saw this in three separate, uh, two separate, three separate pieces actually. Um, before I cut it off, now this is the top section here, which is just there. If I can get my pen, my knife there, that piece there, which is glued in to this section here. Now, to get the SMA connector up through there, at least this far, you'll need to run a 10 millimeter drill so that the nut can fit up through the hole. Now when you get to this section here, this little top section where I've cut the aerial off uh, don't run your 10mm drill up through there because the nut will just go straight through so this top section here before you glue it in uh, just drill a 7mm hole 
and the SMA connector will fit up through the, the guts of this because you've drilled it out 10 mil and then it'll slide up through the 7 mil hole here, 6.5 or 7 mil, so that the SMA uh, can be uh, screwed to the top here. I hope you can understand that okay. Um, now, uh, another way you can do it is, uh, in the previous video I showed, you can just get yourself a disc like that. Um, and originally, if I can just see that, this was the disc. When I purchased it, I just went to a, um, a Perspex dealer and asked him to cut me out a 30 mil disc. Now, obviously when he cuts the 30 mil out, the disc diameter across there is only going to be about 29, which is fair enough. It, it'll still fit in there with a bit of modification. So uh, this is an easy way to do it. You just drill a 6.5 or 7 mil hole through the centre and put your um, connector through it. Doesn't matter what coax it is. Um, and all you do is just go to your bench grinder and just put a chamfer. You'll need to make this the same shape as this original part. Um, but just chamfer it around the edges there. And I'll just, excuse my hand for a minute, I'll just stick it in the hole here in the slot. Like that. You can see that okay. Uh, that sits nicely in the slot. And when you put the other half of the case on, it holds it nice and steady. So if you didn't want to go to all this trouble, you can just do that. Just go to a Perspex. Mine's actually a coloured Perspex. Um, and just modify it like I've shown you there. And it'll fit straight in. So, um, I hope uh, you can understand that okay, Moose. My good mate over there in, in lovely UK um, Ireland. Beautiful country. Uh, so if I ever come over there, you owe me a cup of tea and a biscuit, mate. Um, so I'll post this now. And... Um, um, if you've got any questions, just post it on the forum and um, I'll try and answer it. But I think it's um, I've explained everything okay. So this is uh, Kevlek signing off and um, I hope this video helps, uh, helps you, Moose, and uh, anybody else that's doing the 666 modification. Thank you.